a non-governmental international organization, Save the Children, is advocating for implementation of the Child Rights Act to give a new life to the Nigerian child. The body made the call in Abuja when it gave a report on the challenges faced by children in crisis-reading countries and the effects on the children globally. CV360's Adeshawa Odushoga, our reports. A news research by the Peace Research Institute at Oslo found that about 420 million children are living in conflict-affected areas. The countries that have been classified where the children were worse hit by conflict include Nigeria, Somalia, Mali, South Sudan, Central African Republic, DR Congo, Syria, Iraq, Afghanistan and Yemen. At least 550,000 babies are believed to have died as a result of armed conflict between 2013 and 2017, an average of over 100,000 deaths a year. Save the Children says these figures call for serious and immediate attention. Globally, millions of children are actually living in conflict situation. So Save the Children is fighting advocating and campaigning for the protection of children around the world, most importantly those who are affected by war and conflict and disaster. It doesn't mean we are only concerned about children who are in a war or in a conflict situation, but when a child is actually denied his or her right from education, when a child is suffering from pneumonia, malnutrition, hunger, any other diseases, that child is actually under attack and Save the Children is actually doing its level best to ensure that children's rights are protected so that children would survive, be protected and develop and realize their full potentials within the society. Save the Children also refocused my advocacy to a human rights perspective. I was advocating based on passion, but Save the Children helped me use both my passion and also refocused my advocacy to um, a rights perspective. So because of Save the Children, I understood the Child's Rights Act and started advocating with rights because many actions against us girls, uh, they exist in laws, they exist in like, for example, the Child Rights Act exists, but then they're still not being implemented. The group says, in fact, also succumbs to indirect effects of conflict and war, such as hunger, damaged infrastructure and hospitals, lack of access to health care and denial of aid. We are also campaigning uh, to stop the war on children. And that is going to be our key campaign for this year. Our research across the world globally shows that one in every five children live in conflict-affected countries. And Nigeria is one of the most affected countries, uh, countries affected with conflict. So we have a lot of work to do here, and that is why this campaign is very important for us who work in Nigeria. Malnutrition can also be seen as one of the major challenges children in Nigeria are facing. It is a major cause of death among Nigerian children, I'm sure we all know, which tend to stunt their growth as children. When children are suffering from dietary deficiencies, it tends to stop their growth. Um, also, another major challenge children in Nigeria is facing is um, limited educational opportunities. We all know that education is crucial for national development. Education, educated people are the backbones of every country. Save the Children wants affected countries to take urgent step in saving the lives of vulnerable children in affected countries. Adesha Wadusha, TV360 Nigeria.